Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee promises a busy year with many ways to celebrate the monarch reaching an unprecedented 70 years on the British throne. Buckingham Palace in January laid out plans for several major events in 2022 to honor the long-reigning Queen, who turned 96 on April 21. The elaborate plans, some of which are said to welcome thousands of guests, were publicized weeks after the Queen was forced to scale back her family's annual Christmas celebrations due to rising COVID-19 cases. Queen Elizabeth whose husband Prince Philip died in April at age 99, has also seen her own share of health scares over the past year, including a COVID diagnosis in February, a stay at the hospital in October and several missed events. On February 6, the matriarch officially served as Queen for 70 years, the longest a British monarch has ever ruled. The Queen's reign began on the same day in 1952, with the death of her father, King George VI. She was formally crowned on June 2, 1953. Here's how fans of the royal family can tune in and participate in the festivities through the spring and summer A 90-minute arena theater show is set to include more than 500 horses in one, oh, oh, oh performers, and promises to take the audience on a gallop through history from Elizabeth I to the present. Over the course of four days, the U.K. government will celebrate the Queen's 70 years of service with public events, community activities and national moments of reflection. The first of several events held during that holiday weekend, the Trooping the Color, the annual ceremonial birthday parade for the Queen. It is scheduled to be the first full staging of the event since the onset of the pandemic featuring more than 1, 200 officers and soldiers. Tickets will be available to the public. Also on June 2nd, more than 1, 500 towns, villages and cities throughout the U.K. and its territories will light a beacon to mark the Jubilee. Beacons will also be stationed in capital cities, led by a principal beacon, lit in a special ceremony at Buckingham Palace. A Thanksgiving service will be held at St. Paul's Cathedral to celebrate the Queen's reign. There will also be a live concert, billed as the Platinum Party at the Palace, which the government says will feature some of the world's biggest entertainment stars, though it didn't identify them.